Hey guys, what's up, it's Daniel. So right now, I am in my bedroom. Isn't it amazing? So for a quick tour, there's a wall. It also has a few other corners in here and that's a window. So thanks for watching, bye. I feel like I need to sneeze, but it's not happening. Okay. <laughs> That was great. So let's just get into this video. This is how to make a fort in your bedroom. Here we go. So in my opinion, this is a pretty decent sized bedroom. We have the door over here. There's a couple lights. We have a door, a desk, and then one window. And then over here we have like a TV thing. I'm not really doing a room tour, but it seems to be going that way. So basically you just can fit all this stuff in here and it's pretty decent sized. So we're just gonna work with it. There's us, hello. So here I have the first blanket of the fort. I may need to steal some from other areas of this apartment. Just don't tell anybody, shall we? I don't think I'm gonna use a comforter. I think I'm gonna see if I can find sheets because I know there's at least a few sheets in this apartment. So I'll be back. We're gonna start my little collection. There's one, two, three. That's a big one, yay. And I found this huge box of stuff that we moved, including a boot and toiletries. Oh. My gosh, there's a bug on that thing. Oh my god, it's right there. <gasps> you guys look at that bug. That was, I think that's a silverfish. Ew. So that whole box was not a bunch of sheets as I was hoping. Um, there was like one sheet and a pillowcase in it. But look what I found by the washing machine and dryer. Oh my gosh, I thought the bug was on me. Okay, now I'm terrified. So after the potential murder of a bug, we're gonna make a fort, shall we? Let's be real, we're probably not gonna use this boot but um, I'd like to thank my sister for supplying it for this video. So now let's make a plan. This is one of the biggest parts of making a fort is that you have to kind of like start with a plan or just go with it like I'm doing right now during this video. So one of the best things to have when making a fort is a sheet like so. Specifically a fitted sheet if you can. Right now I don't have any of those and I'm still paranoid of bugs so this one looks absolutely massive, so I think we're gonna use it. Oh, I look like a magic person. I think I'm gonna put the sheet on this window, kind of just like jam it into the blinds or something. Oh, okay, give me a second. Whoa! So if you have a window in your room, which I don't know if a room exists that doesn't have a window besides like a courtroom or something, a huge tip if you don't really have anywhere else to hang a sheet, like myself, you can just find the corner that you want to use because you want to use the best corner to get the most space out of your fort and get it to the highest point and then without smashing your fingers, you close the window as much as you can. So then you have one anchor for your sheet and then you can do whatever you want with the rest of it. Just don't pull it too hard because then it can potentially fall out. Okay, so the idea of putting it in the window over there has been kind of scrapped because that just didn't work for life. So I'm gonna redo this part just to show you how it works. You just kind of take this end and you throw it over the top of the door. That's probably the best way to get it anchored. And then you just make sure it gets into the gap of the door and the door frame and then you close it. And then I locked it. Ta-da! Ladies and gentlemen, another anchor has happened. So I'm also going to redo this one for you just to show you how it works. You take this and then, I don't know if I'm redoing these right, but then you just kind of overlap it like that. Fold it into like two to make it, I guess, thicker. And then you jam it into like the closet door in between the two closet doors. And then you close it and it should kind of catch in the thing. It should catch in between the two doors and then you'll have an anchor and you can even... Just kidding, <laughs> you can't pull on it. Let's do that one more time. So now there's just like one last corner hanging right there. We could leave it here and kind of have a mini fort, but you probably double, if not like maybe triple your size by 
taking this corner and doing something with it. So we're gonna do that. <laughs> so I just kind of redid that anchor right there and also, the chair wasn't really working in terms of holding weight right here for like an entryway to the fort. So I found this case in my closet. Um, this could be a briefcase or even like a suitcase or something. You don't even have to use a chair at all. This is just what worked for me. So this is kind of the fun part of making a fort in your bedroom is that you just need to find stuff and be creative as to what you can do with it. And you can come up with something like this and now it is pretty... Sturdy. And then your next step, like I said, is decorating. And you just want to kind of drape this over here for like a door to the fort, like that. And then down here, you can consider that an entryway to the fort. And then we'll make an entryway over here. I'm just going to take this blanket, put it on little by little to make sure that it doesn't break the fort. And now we have an entryway for over here, so you can basically just Fold this down, enter carefully through here, and then you can just fold it back up like so. <laughs> so I'm going to anchor this door um, or like entryway to the fort with the actual fort. So I'm just going to kind of stick it in there and then I have that anchored and then I can just drape this over like the chair. And now there's like an entire space of the fort covered. So as you can see, I anchored it over there as well. Just kind of draped it over. And now this whole part of the fort is covered. It's covered for the most part, but this seems to be the most reliable entrance to the fort. So you can just, oh, I guess you could just go like this. And then I'm in the fort, kind of in the fort. <laughs> Now we pretty much have a finished fort. It looks pretty darn awesome. I'm just gonna go over with you what we did today because we did it together. There's one anchor in the door over there and there's also an anchor in this window. And then the third anchor for this fort is in the closet door. And then the fourth anchor was in, I don't really wanna lift up the blanket just in case it'll destroy the fort. It's in the briefcase thing. I guess I'll show you. It's in the briefcase thing. Um, and then the briefcase thing is on a chair. And then after that, we just draped over a sheet for this part. This part really isn't an entrance to the fort. Um, it's just more of a wall to keep out light and stuff like that. And then we anchored the second wall to the same place that we anchored one of the, um, actual pieces of the top of the fort, which was in the closet door. And then we just kind of draped the other part of that wall over here. And now... It's pretty much all covered. It's not all covered, but it looks pretty darn cool. Wouldn't you say so? I don't know if I would. Just kidding, I totally would. So please allow me to take you inside the fort. We're just gonna pull open the door here and go inside. It's a little short, but you could even like work in the fort. We have a desk in the fort, pretty much. And then it's pretty spacious. We have the door right here. Of course you can't open it because then, I mean you could, but you'd have to redo that anchor and it might like destroy the entire thing. <laughs> there's no chair to the desk because we did use that for the fort and there's that famous boot. I really hope you guys enjoyed making this fort with me today or tonight, this afternoon. What the heck? If you would like to make this fort in your home or your apartment, I made it in an apartment, so that's pretty cool. You can share pictures with me on social media. You can reach me at thatkid1613 on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, I guess is the other one for that kid 1613. You can reach me on Snapchat at DanMan1613. And my Facebook page link is in the description if you would like to reach me there. Plenty of options for you. You're welcome. Now I'm going to say my outro, so if you know it, you can say it with me. And if you don't know it, you can still say it with me because I believe in you. Here we go. If you are not a fan yet and you'd like to be, you can hit that subscribe button. And if you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and give me any suggestions you may have for any upcoming videos or any other feedback down in the comments below. I will see you guys next Friday. I hope you have a great week. I will see you then. Bye. Cool pizza, yes. Oh my gosh. All right, kids, get to bed right now or you'll stay up late and it'll be more fun. Oh, please excuse the fact that I didn't finish the tour. Um, this is our refrigerator and freezer. So yeah, I guess that concludes the tour. So yeah, my entire apartment is actually pretty clean right now. It's pretty awesome.
All right, how do you get this thing to stop recording?